So welcome to Discovering Sri Aurobindo. I'm Rade and I'm joined here by Dr. Vladimir Yatsenko, our moderator for today, and H.P. Rama, who is founder, president, and chancellor of our university. Before we open the session, let us come together in just a few moments of collective concentration, please. So welcome again uh, to today's Discovering Sri Aurobindo. And as a prelude to Sri Aurobindo's 150th birth anniversary on August 15th, 2022, Aura University and Sri Aurobindo Integral Life Center in Surat, India, and here in Fountain in South Carolina are hosting a series of seminars called Discovering Sri Aurobindo. And it's through these series that we hope to come closer to Sri Aurobindo's vast heritage and to understand his depth of contribution to the future development of humanity in all fields of knowledge, which would include social sciences, philosophy, culture, poetry, music, and more. So many of you may be familiar with the Collected Poems edition, which contains over 200 poems by Sri Aurobindo, and it illustrates his many-sided poetic achievements spanning seven decades. As noted in this collection, Sri Aurobindo's innate capacity for poetic inspiration was heightened by his practice of yoga, resulting in a new kind of poetry that revealed and expressed the truth and beauty of the higher realms of consciousness. So today we are featuring In Search of Musical and Artistic Expression for Sri Aurobindo's Poetry. And we are so very, very honored to have with us Shakti and her amazing group, who will apply their musical artistry to the poems of Sri Aurobindo. The program today is going to be very rich and full. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to our moderator, Dr. Vladimir Yatsenko, to formally open the session. Vladimir. Thank you, Radhe. And uh, let me briefly introduce Shakti, Shakti Balu, who is a musician, songwriter, piano teacher, vocal coach, choir conductor. She graduated from musical school Forte Piano and college in Ukraine. For the last two decades, she has been teaching piano classes to children and adults in Auroville. She is also a singer, a stage performer in classical, jazz, pop music. She conducted a number of concerts in Auroville and India. She is one of the founders of Ivy Sisters, Auroville Sisters, a folk and pop music band, regularly giving concerts for the last two decades. She was one of the facilitators who developed and conducted the program in the science of living at our university, Surat, in 2017 and 18. In Udavi School also, Auroville, she worked as a choir coach, teaching children to sing together, organized and conducted summer programs, uh, introducing children to music, melody, rhythm, improvisation. She worked in a project of healing sound with Aurelian's Farum, giving classes on healing harmonies. Besides this, she is a poetess and, uh, and the artist. Several dozens of oil paintings and aquarelles are exhibited in public places in Auroville and all over the world in private collections. We are honored to have with us the whole group of musicians, artists from Auroville who are working on this project, Harmonies Inspired by Sri Aurobindo's Poems. 
Anushka Ganputh, Giotti Kare, Varun Rao, Chloe Tadiotto, Antoine Colombani, who combine and apply their artistry to the poems of Sri Aurobindo. Welcome Shakti, Anushka, Chloe, Giotti, Antoine and Varun. I would request Shakti to address the audience and to tell us about your project, Harmonies Inspired by Sri Aurobindo. And what does it mean to you? Please, Shakti. You have to unmute yourself, Shakti. I can't unmute you. You will have to click on it. Yes, you're done. We will begin with a good morning, America, good evening, India, and good day, all the world. <laughs> I'm Shakti Balu, and I had I send you heartful greetings and love and peace to everybody. We will begin with a singing. And it is Sri Aurobindo's poem, which calls Silence is All, Say the Sages. We will do a cappella now for the moment. You, you can click on the sound. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, thank you. Thank you.
Beautiful, thank you. Thank you, Sri Aurobindo, for giving us the possibility to thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> yes, and that was beautiful, and we can hear the poetry is matching so beautifully with music, and uh, it comes together. Uh, it's really very impressive. Um, it would be nice if you could say a few words about your project, uh, about the inspiration you got to to put uh, Shirobindo's poetry on music, and uh, and maybe if a few of you could also speak a few words about the project and what it means for you. Um, please, Shakti. Sure. Thank you, Vladimir, and thank you, everybody. <laughs> You know, whenever I'm singing Sri Aurobindo's poem or I'm just reading or reciting, my breath is going away because it's so fulfilling, it's so filling the space within me that I'm so full of gratitude that I am able to do it and I'm giving a chance uh, as a work to be so close and to carry the word of him. And well, I'm so uplifted, so I need <laughs> a few moments to breathe <laughs> to come back to myself. Yeah, I'm very grateful also to my beautiful people who join me in this project. And they are such a people of light and people who would like to grow and progress and do the work in, with music and art. So I'm very grateful to them. I would like to say, of course, a few words how I came to, to this point and then uh, to write music for Sri Bindu's poetry, which is really daring <laughs> from my side. And well, long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, maybe eight years ago, I was studying in Sakar, uh, Sri Aurobindo Center of Advanced, for Advanced Research with Anand Reddy. And it was really a big step for me because I didn't have enough English to reach Rurobind. And I approached people and I say, where could I study and all? And Vladimir said, yeah, and I'm already opened the center, join and, and you can read the, the, the text to, uh, books of Sri Aurobindo. So I said, yes, yeah, sure. And I won't because I need structure and so on and so forth. When I enter into this um, center, I understood that I need to pull my English to be able to reach Robin. But I would say, and I would be truly honest, then those days were the most beautiful in my life. Because I was with the word of Shirobinda every day. I had his book in front of me and his word was coming down and it was penetrating my heart and created the space there. It created the room, the room of uh, very special frequencies, very special vibrations, which I was, I was, I was uplifted all the time. And within my heart, I was rejoicing and was very often an ecstasy of, of something I couldn't explain. So in that time, we had some assignment uh, about the uh, future poetry of Sri Aurobindo. So it was assignment, we had to read some poetry and we had to write a say, and it was of this kind. And I, I went and I bought the book at the time, you know, internet and all this thing, it was not so good, and especially all India, it was like a little bit just starting. And I bought the book, my favorite yellow book, <laughs> and I opened it up and I couldn't stop. I was going poem after poem and maybe half of the words, yeah, that's the book. I want to show it. <laughs> that's my favorite book, which I bought at the time, collected poems. And <clears throat> then um, I didn't know half of the words, what they mean. I sit with a dictionary to translate, but the few lines of each point was just striking me within and I couldn't stop reading. And 
it just give me it give me it give me light it give me food you know it's like i don't know how to even explain to find the words for that and the first poem actually was reminiscence reminiscence and i didn't know what it means also so i had to see <laughs> and i found the meaning and it was like so so beautiful because it begins like this my soul arose at dawn and listening heard one voice abroad a solitary bird a song not master of its note a cry that persevered into eternity my soul leaned out to the dawn to hear and when i reached this line as a very emotional person i was in tears and i was in ecstasy because i never heard anything most beautiful than this line my I, i'm going to cry now so sorry <laughs> my soul leaned out into the dawn to hear how how more precious can be that you know and i stay on that line and couldn't go further <laughs> So I understood then I can't live without this. So I take my yellow book and I put it on the piano, looking in the poems and just put my hands on the keys and music came. It started pouring down like a waterfall in my fingers. I didn't know what I'm doing, but my instrument, which was developed as a musical, I would say, a, was maybe limited in some harmonies maybe was limited as an instrument but it started playing the rhythm and the right hand was following it and i was wondering and wondering what my hands are doing and i look again at the lines and i look at my fingers and it was continuously going on and going on then it was days weeks months and i composed quite a few pieces for quite a few poems because I couldn't stop. Then I understood, then I put everything what I have on, on the piano. You see, I was, I'm a limited person also. I, I have this, this kind of, you know, ability which I could, could apply to the keys. And then when it was everything put out, I was intimidated by my daring. So ego start talking to me that, how dare you? Who are you? You are small Pucci somewhere in South India. You are there, you know, and you, what, what you are doing? Sri Aurobindo, it's him, it's his, he's the one. And who are you? Why you are you touching that sacred thing? You will never feel it. You will never reach it. And I was so intimidated by that. But I was very grateful because uh, we don't have our tenor with us today. It's Sankar Shankini, Shanks. He couldn't make it today. But at that time, he arrived from Mumbai, a good musician. And first, what I showed to him, because I felt like he's very open, I show him this, you know. And he says, brilliant. Shakti, you have to do it. That's the work. Let's do it. And I was so uplifted. Then I went to our musician professionals in Norway. <laughs> And I say, mm, well, <laughs> you know, things like that. And I, I'm very grateful to them because they are Aurovillians and they know what they are doing. You cannot support on or support or not support person who is doing yoga through this instrument. You know, you are alone in this. You're very intimate. You, you know, you have to do it yourself. So I show it to Vladimir, he said, yeah, that's real work. You have to work on it. You also support me at that time. I'm very grateful for that. But that time when I put it away, it was a reflection. I had to, I had to develop my instrument as a musical instrument. I went through many styles of music, folk, jazz, pop. I developed something in my hearing. So I was accumulating knowledge on a physical level, you know, it was my touch, it was my hearing, it was my sight, it was my inner state. So, and recently I, I had again a call 
Vladimir actually asked me, what about that work you were doing long ago? It was, it was something interesting and maybe you have to come back to it. So I, I came back to it. I entered in the room actually, the room which Sri Robindo created in my heart was his word. I entered there and it poured back. <laughs> I got this fall of the beauty and the radiance and the light in my hands in my life, in my, in my soul, in, around me. So first whom I approached it was Shanks. He said, sure, I'm in, count me. Then I was looking for soprano. And there is only one soprano in Auroville like that, it's Anushka. There is no voice like that. So I was approaching her <laughs> a few times, but as she's not settled in this, in you know, had to go and maybe not to go and Corona and this. So it was not so easy for us to settle. But she's so, so dear and her voice is, I want it only in this project. So she said, yes. Then Antoine was the boss, definitely he is. I really respect and love this man. And he's a coach of the choir, women choir, good musician, good voice. He immediately, instantly said, yes, I mean. And then I was looking for Matt, so it was more difficult. Because many auditions I did, but Chloe was the best one for this work. And then, of course, Varun was his velvet texture of the voice, beautiful voice. I asked him, please join us. And he said, yes, I'm in. And he's also sound engineer who's going to record our pieces, which, which was written. Um, and we have also one very good musician who is in Germany now, Nada Prem. I approach him and he say instantly, yes, I am in. He plays Bansuri and viola for three pieces viola and one piece for Krishna, he plays Bansuri. So he's in Germany now, but he will send his recording to us. Voila, that's a story. So far, I was created 12 pieces for Sri Aurobindo sonnets. Two of them are a cappella, one you heard now, but it's gonna be supported with viola lines. And viola is an alt which has a very solid voice and it's gonna sound very good when he will support us in this piece. One piece which is sunlit from the island sun, also a cappella only. Then I have uh, four pieces for reciting poetry and creating music. Two will be a cappella, which is evolution, and I have a hundred lives before me yet. And two pieces are going to be music, which are composed piano and viola, and one that's transformation. And one piece I wrote for viola only. It's life. And the rest six pieces we are going to sing with accompaniment with the piano. Only. So 12 pieces we supposed to perform on mother's birthday next year and Oroville birthday i'm planning to do it in kripa Oroville, and maybe in Asham. i would like to do it in harmony hall with people and well that's a plan and we would like to record it in a nice studio definitely we would like to do it <laughs> so god gave us everything for that mm -hmm. and we would be just working mm -hmm. And then uh, we plan also to publish a book with yeah. notation and, um, you know, it's for six voices and any choir can take it and sing because I know so many collectives, musical, they're looking for new expressions, mm -hmm. for new pieces, new melodies, new harmonies, new words mm -hmm. to come down to this world. and. It could be a possibility. So for this reason also, we we spoke and we say we need illustration, we need artwork for the, mm -hmm. for the, for the pieces, you know. And first who jumped into my head is Jodi Kari. Her style is amazing. Mm -hmm. She has this, she has so much meaning behind her, mm -hmm. behind her expression with the colors, very light, very pastel and full of power and full of this tendency of of meaning you know this meaning which is very spiritual i love her work so she agreed she agreed also to be with us and to do this work i can't say more because i'm so overwhelming with a with a point then 
<laughs> it's happening and uh, and there is only gratitude there is only this honor which i feel then thank you thank you thank you for for coming to me and giving to me a chance you know and this is my yoga and this is my offer and this is my life and it cannot be different so i'm very lucky so i would thank like you. to say i would like to invite some people of my um of my group to speak yes Maybe please gonna be the next Yes, well, please. Uh, please, let me step on you. Okay. <laughs> I'll take the hot seat. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, Hi, Anushka. My name's Anushka. <laughs> I've been here in Oroville for just over two years, and it's a real, real, real pleasure to work with, with everybody here. This collaboration is, is really special. And I was honored that Shakti even asked me. So that <laughs> introduction to me was pretty grand. <laughs> um, but these, these pieces are absolutely beautiful for me as a singer i can't think of a better way to use my instrument um, and to use the medium of sound to connect with others to connect with myself these pieces are are simply stunning um thank you Jackie. they're really beautiful it's also for me a, a really uh special way to connect with sure of windows works because otherwise I fear sometimes in life with, with things like this, we can often over intellectual intellectualize it. And with the medium of sound with music, uh, it, it doesn't happen. And we just were in this very present feeling with it and singing with five other voices also makes it a really collective resonance within us. And I, I really uh, find that also a lovely experience. Um, reading the poetry is obviously a lovely experience, but having to put our voice on it, our voices on it is, is even more special and it takes it to another level of feeling. Um, for me, this, this, uh, the one that we shared with you, silence is all say the sages. For me, this line that says, in the book of silence, the cosmic scribe has written his cosmic pages. For me alone, that line just, it, it paints such a visual, such a picture. It's so powerful, um, overwhelmingly so. Um, so yeah, really, really happy to be doing this project here in Oroville with these wonderful musicians and artists. <laughs> so thank you very much. Thank you. Who's next? Well, thank you, Anushka. I'm going to take the hot seat. Hello, everyone. Uh, Hi, Vanun. Greetings from South India and Oroville. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit of a cloud over us and it's raining, so it's a nice weather. A um, lot of what has to be said is being said, you know, and <laughs> I, I feel like I might be reiterating this whole process, but let me then just touch into what it really means personally. Um, it's a seed for me working on Sri Aurobindo's poetry and work. Uh, when I when we work on the music, when we sing it on a daily basis, when we practice, there is some sort of a memory that's being built within the body. It's a sort of an embodiment of the words. And I find myself singing these lines in the most funniest of moments. When I least expect it, <laughs> it's singing or resonating within my body. And that's an experience I love to observe and see when it's playing out and what instances is it coming up and you know the, the spiritual aspiration could be sometimes quite melancholic it has a very beautiful joy hidden behind it but you know when these questions of wonder come up these questions of what's really happening why are we here who am i uh, when these questions come up song starts playing in your mind and that's one of the most beautiful responses that one can expect and and that's coming through this deep dive into the work, this mm. giving into it, this surrendering into the sound. Mm. We're not sure where this is going, but every time we meet, we know. We know it's precious, we know it's special, it's carrying us, it's carrying our mm. mental, vital, energetic bodies forward. It's recharging, it's energizing, and it's lovely to feel this resonance together and then to be able to, we've worked for how many, one, two months now? Yeah. And well, it was quite interesting when we began, you know, because we're new to the words, we're new to the melodies, we're breaking, we're falling apart. 
frustration but today it's the first time we are actually sharing sharing in all its vulnerability in all its uh, formation and it feels really lovely and to know that we can do it in this space the people who also connect with the work is very special so thank you shakti and thank, thank you everyone for this lovely journey thank you varun thank you varun musical journey yeah. <laughs> hi everybody uh, first of all i want to apologize for my french accent <laughs> no um, i joined roville uh, almost six years ago and uh, Shakti was one of the very first person I met. It yes. was at this time for the, <laughs> for the singing festival where we met. And uh, it was a very interesting experience. And, and since I've been following her work, uh, participating once in a while to some events, and the last event was in, uh, in last March, it was uh, an poetry event on the poetry and, uh, and love, so uh, singing and reading uh, poems uh, about love. And it was so beautiful, such a beautiful energy. So when, uh, when Shakti asked me for this project and when she played uh, on, the, on her piano the music she has written, I was really touched and amazed by the of the modernity of the imagination or the inspirations she had to create such a music because sometimes when you think of uh, putting poetry and someone uh, from someone like Sri Robindo some people may think of it is very serious but no she did not make something serious she made something beautiful alive overwhelming so of course i said <laughs> <laughs> i said uh, yes at once i mean for sure and um what i can say more um as shakti said i created uh, here um, a women chamber choir and my aim with this choir is really to to transmit beauty to transmit emotion and I'm doing that with uh, music, with uh, harmonies from all over, all around the world. But here with uh, those uh, poems from Sri Aurobindo, it gives something more because it's not only beauty. It's beauty and it is the words of Sri Aurobindo, which I, I cannot say, I, I don't have the words to say what it brings, but it brings really something and I am very happy to to be part of this group to, just to offer for me offering beauty is so important sharing beauty we of course we do music for ourselves but it has no meaning if we are not able to offer it to share it and this is a very beautiful opportunity to share music and to work because we are a small group we are all we all are musicians we I will say there is no conductor. We are all sharing, give, bringing our own ideas and making this music together. And then we can offer it and we will do, we will give our best to share this beauty and to share the, the nice words of Sri Aurobindo, uh, which inspired so well uh, Shakti for her music. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Antoine. Beautiful. He has your drawings. Yes. Vladimir, you have drawings of Chloe, no? They sent it to you. Do you have? Yes, I have. I can show yeah. them. Yeah, but she will yes. say. Hi. So, yeah, my name is Chloe. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, regarding the music that Shakti have uh, created, uh, actually, it uh, inspired me it inspired me a lot when she first uh, played the music on the piano after when I came back it's true it's uh, inspired me some drawings so yeah I shared that with you uh, otherwise I'm really happy to be part of this um, team if we can say that 
-hmm. And uh, yes, I really like this uh, that Shakti has put music on Sri Aurobindo's poem because it's, uh, first of all, it's really nice and really touched me. And also I feel it uh, gives them, um, it make it more accessible maybe for people who doesn't have any particular first affection with poetry or reading. And then it, uh, it's nice to, to have access to this poem through the music. Voilà. Should, I, should I show you the project? Uh, big, uh, big. Yeah. Let me project then. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, it is this one. Do you see it? Yes. It so, is called yes. silence. Yeah, this is actually silence is all. Yeah, from the the point silence is all. Yeah, and there is there is another one. Do you see it? Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Okay. So sorry. Wait a minute. I will show. This one, the yes. island sun. Yes. Yeah, this wow. is the island sun. Yes, so beautiful. Thank you, <laughs> yes. thank you for sharing this. Yes. Yeah, thank you for painting it and showing it to us. Yes. <laughs> mm. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. So, we are discovering your painting. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now I would like to invite our beautiful Another artist of Oroville, which I love so much her work, it's Jyoti Kare. Please come and speak about something. <laughs> Welcome, Jyoti. Long, long time no see. <laughs> yes, yes, it's been long. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I was, uh, first of all, I'm very happy to see Chloe's paintings. They are a big surprise to me. Thank yeah, <laughs> that's wonderful creation. And um, I, uh, Shakti contacted me some time back to work on Sh Shobindu's sonnets to make illustrations, paintings for them. And of course, my first reaction was, how can I, you know? So as Shakti already mentioned it for her own experience. And, um, and I told her I will do one painting because I felt that was the maximum I could do. And uh, then I went through the uh, poems and I got the contagion of Shakti came on me. She had so much of enthusiasm, so much of love, so much of confidence that uh, I went back to her and I said, OK, I'll do all of them. So it's a, it's a journey and it's a challenge. And uh, Shobindo said that he's first a poet and then a philosopher. And for us in, uh, in the Indian culture, poet, there's a beautiful word for it called Kavi. And Kavi for us is a poet, a seer, a sage, a rishi, a guru, he's all in one. And that's what Shobindo is to all of us. And his poems are actually an expression of his own experiences. And for me, the feeling I get is how can I enter his experiences? So there is no way that I will interpret his poem. What I can only do is through my work, go closer to him, offer myself to him, serve him and connect with him. And if that can help in any way for all of us to connect to him, then there's only gratitude and nothing more. And uh, I started my journey as a artist many years back, very in a very interesting way, because I came to the ashram in 1968. In those days, ashram was very quiet, very different. Mother was there. And even though she did not come out of her room, we would go to her on, on special occasions. We had darshans. My father was here in the early 40s and he had darshan of mother and Shobindo and the atmosphere in my house was always surrounded with that. He had study circles at home. He started a center in his home, hometown uh, for mother and Shobindo. He spent all his time, money, energy around that. So I grew up in that atmosphere where everything around me was centered around mother and Shobindo. 
So when I came to Ashram and I joined the Ashram school, for me, it was like living in a continuous satsang because the circle around my family, the circle of the teachers whose fault us almost to a fault, were actually only serving mother. So that atmosphere of continuous service to the mother was, went deep into me. And very early in my life, I had decided that that's what I want to do. I want to serve mother. So when I finished school, it was natural for me to join the ashram. And in those days, um, and I think it is still so today, work is assigned to you when you join the ashram. And mother had given this uh, responsibility to somebody called Ravindraji in those days. So when I approached him, he asked me what I wanted to do. And I said, no, you tell me what you want me to do. Because for me, if mother had given him this responsibility, she also gave him the power, the, the capacity to make the right choices for me. And for me, it was as though she was choosing for me through him. So he told me, go and do painting. I said, all right. So he put me into a department called Santer and I was asked to paint. For me, it was a work like any other work. I could have been put somewhere else and I would have done it with the same dedication. I did not feel it anything special about it. So I was working there uh, as a painting. And um, then after some years, I came to Aurobil for a visit to Matri Mandir when the crystal was installed. And I had a very strong experience and it was clear to me that my next step was Aurobil. So I moved it. I didn't know how I would do that because in those days I had nothing. My family was in the ashram completely dedicated. I didn't know anything about Aurobil. But I told mother that if this is my place, then you will find a way. And I, in my free time, I started cycling up to Auroville. The roads were very bad in those days, but access to Matri Mandir was easier. So I could come, I could sit for a, maybe 15, 20 minutes and then cycle back. And in a few years, ways opened for me to join, the, uh, join Auroville. And uh, I joined, when I came to Auroville, I started working in school. And art actually became a hobby for me. I, in my free time, I was doing art and it took me a little while to realize that art was actually a sadhana for me. And my aspiration to paint better and better and better made me somehow connect to all that Shobindo had said about art and particularly about poetry. When he talks about inspiration and how you can reach higher inspiration. So my aspiration was to reach these higher inspirations and how could I do that? So for me, the only way I could do was that was to step back, to keep myself silent, as silent as possible and to listen to what's coming. And that is what became my practice. And that's where my practice still is today. And when Shakti asked me to take this project up. For me, it's, it's just one more way of going closer to him because I have written um, books for children and illustrated them. I have done some collage work. I have done different things, but I have never taken up a theme directly from Mother or Shiobindo. For me, that has always been uh, a little bit, I have always hesitated for that. But when Shakti asked me, I said, okay, this is an occasion for me to just humbly come closer to them. And that's what I hope to do. Mm -hmm. Can I show you? Can I show some of your paintings or project them? Would you like me to do? Sure. Yeah, thank you. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes, Aditi yes. and Avatar together. <laughs> Double lotus, yes, white and uh, rosy coming together. Yes, this is made with the dress material that mother had used. Oh. And I have been given that from the ashram oh. and uh, to make art out of it so that it can have a 
another way of spreading it around the world. So I have done a series of art with the mother's dress material. Please. Oh, beautiful. I didn't know that it was mother's dress material. Aditi. This is for a flower project that I'm doing right now, focusing on the significances uh, that mother has given to flowers. So I'm mm. painting 80 of these flowers right now. Lovely. Good choice, I did. Yeah. Wow. Beautiful. Yeah, this is again from Mother's Dress Material. It's a collage. Uh -huh. And she was in Japan. And this is um, a concept for the uh, for the sonnet, uh, the golden light for this mm. particular this very project. Yes, the golden light came into my feet. Yes. Yes. This is a children's book. Uh, what is this Oroville? Mm. That was published some years back. Yeah. It, it should be inspiring for children to see such pictures. They can go into imagination, into the stars, into the... Yeah, beautiful. And this is for the same book. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for sharing your pictures. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank you, Jyoti. So, you had a possibility, everybody, to see us, to mm -hmm. listen to us, to our work. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jyoti. It's so nice. I'm so happy to hear your story, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have also a short uh, three minutes film from your uh, repetitions, from your working on the project. If you, it's last yep. three minutes. Yep. If, if you want me, I can project it and uh, for three minutes. And after that, we can have questions and answers session. If somebody has questions, please put them into the question and answers box. And uh, from there, we I will read, or they will. I will read the question, and uh, to whoever you can want to ask, to Shakti or to Chloe or to Anushka, to anyone, Antoine, Varun, whoever, uh, Jyoti. So you can ask your questions, and uh, they will try to answer them. And now I am projecting the uh, three minutes, three and a half minutes uh, clips from the. Um, let me uh, these uh, repetitions of what do you call it? rehearsals. Yes. Yes. One second, I will change the sound to make it better.
Sorry, I just took clips from the from your introduction to the project uh, for people to see and to hear how you work, to see your faces, to hear your sounds, so you, you know where you see it, how how you concentrate it. It's very beautiful, very touching. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So um, there are mm, no questions. Uh, beautiful singing, everybody says, uh, everybody is inspired. There is most probably questions will be from myself and from Radhe, I guess. Yeah, I just, I just want to say uh, to, to Shakti and the whole group, I had no idea what to expect today. I was asking uh, Vladimir, so what exactly is going to happen? And I'll tell you, it is just so touching and so amazing, the work that you guys are doing and just such an honor to be able to uh, to be part of it in terms of being able to listen and to, to be able to bring others to, to see and, and hear your story and what you're doing there in, in Aravel. Absolutely amazing. So uh, just thank you so very much. Thank you. Yes, there are a few, three, few questions or rather remarks here from Arya Deep. Uh, text should be made available to follow the singing because uh, it's it can be easier to follow the text uh, beautiful experience he says and uh, i am very much looking forward to there is somebody else speaks uh, the poetry of Sri Aurobindo will come alive through this it's a very great comment thank you thank you for filling my heart anonymous uh, uh, kind of, yeah so thank you uh, it was beautiful and lovely and a kind of experience rather than uh, you know presentation or something it was really moving the whole idea of uniting poetry and music through the heart through the deeper listening through inspiration coming oh arriving at this poetry or using music as an as a means of for this poetry to to reach out to our hearts it was beautiful um, great thank you well um then Shakti, uh, uh, yeah Shakti, thank you you know mother said that uh, music deepens your heart and painting uh, heightens your mind. So I already, I felt deepening the heart, listening to the, the vocalist uh, music, uh, great. Thank you very much for sharing your experiences. Thank you, HP. Thank you for listening to us. <laughs> then uh, we wish that we will meet again and we are hoping to continue to interact with you and your project and would love to support you in every way possible we consider yeah. this to be part of research how music and poetry can come together in a very artistic creative way so please keep in touch and we hope to meet with you again and well, uh, i'd like to I, i'd like to announce something that uh, uh, Vladimir is now official director of research of integral studies at uh, La Grace Fountain in USA. Mm. So we are very proud to have him here. Mm. Thank you, HP. I'm also very happy to be part of, of La Grace Center and, uh, and do this work. I'm very, very uh, honored and humbled to do this work here and connect all the connections, all the dots all over the world to one big family of Sri Aurobindo and the mother. We are going, thank you everybody, we are going to proceed. There is plenty of work to do. We just show you the beginning mm, because this harmony, you know, it unites us through the harmonization of all our voices, because voices carry in the soul. Mm. And we harmonize them in the word of Sri Aurobindo. What can be more mm. beautiful? And, you know, the work, what, what to do, I mean, it's a gift. 
So we have a lot to do and we mm. will, of course, update you how it's mm. going on and we always keep in touch and we are happy that Vladimir is in the center of research. Mm. We're going to research <laughs> all of us <laughs> and we're happy to see all your faces and you're doing mm. well. You're looking all very good and healthy. Mm. God, thanks that you are keeping so well. Mm. Thank, thank you, everybody. Thank you. Everybody. I, I, I thank you all i just want to make one quick announcement before uh folks leave and that's about uh the upcoming uh, city darshan day on november 24th uh, we will be hosting this global darshan gathering with centers from really all over the world that's going to come and participate and we've got opening uh the gathering dr alok pandey who's going to speak on the importance of city day and uh, then dr jayanti ravi steps towards human unity uh, she will address and then Amita Mera aspiration for the collaboration project. So she'll explain a little bit more what's going on with the Auroville uh, collaboration project and representatives from 12 different Trio Bindo centers, again, from all over the world will come and they're going to share their aspirations and their hopes for unity and a new creation. And this grand gathering will close with a song to Sri Krishna by Shakti followed by a group meditation. So we hope you all can join us and you'll be receiving our emails and all you've got to do is, is uh, register very, you know, uh, register on the Zoom and uh, we'll, we'll look forward to seeing you all. Mm. Namaste. Namaste. Namaste.